All right, what's up, everybody? It's Ice Cards and Collectibles. I'm here doing a opening day versus a cello pack of optic basketball. So baseball versus basketball this time. Uh, last time it was baseball versus football. Um, cello pack has four packs in it. Um, the price range retail wise are about the same. You know, this one's about twelve dollars and this one's about eleven dollars, somewhere in there. And uh, we're gonna see. What's the best value for your buck? So, uh, last time I did an opening day, I got some pretty good stuff out of it. I actually got uh, a super short print over here. A uh, really good card to have. Um, the Boba Shett Red Parallel Rookie and Jesus Lazardo Red Parallel Rookie. So, looking for some of the same in this opening day. And we're going to see which one would be the best to go with. The Optic or the opening day. And this is a mega box. There's 17 packs in this, so I won't get to it because it would take forever. Uh, we'll go, we'll start it off with basketball and uh, see how we go. I've only opened a little bit of um, optics, so we should see. And I didn't have any luck with the mega box that I got, so I'm hoping this, my luck changes with this. Jeff Teague, Schofield, D'Angelo Russell, that ain't too bad of a card, and Bogdanovich. So we'll put the rookie there, the Russell, and then right here. So, all right. So we got E. Smith, Kevin Porter Jr. A splash of James Harden. It's not too bad. We'll put that over there. Chris Tapps Porzingis. It's going to take a lot to beat a, a mega box of opening day. I mean, that's even though it's a, it's a cheaper one, but um, it's pretty good uh, right now. So, Blake Griffin. We got Isaiah Roby. We got a My House Luka Doncic Purple. I'm not sure if the purples are serial numbered. I don't think they are, so no. Not serial numbered, but still one of the better ones you'd want to pull as an insert. So that's that's pretty good. I mean, that's that's got me pretty happy with the pack already. Since, uh, since everything's suspended right now and no, nothing's happening, I guess everybody's having to resort to washing... <laughs> box breaks and everything else um we got jj reddick carol and bataz bataz z or something like that i don't know goga i guess everybody calls him goga because of his last name but yeah nothing nothing special right there so i mean i don't know it's gonna take a lot to beat the opening day so we got the luca the james harden and the d'angelo russell express lane that right there being the that's a, that's a that's a nice card. So, for sure, gonna have to sleeve that up here in a second. But let's put all these cards to the side for now, so that we can get to let's put them over here. Let's get them out of the way. Get to this big box. Seventeen packs. One, your the red parallel pack is what you're really looking for, and then there should be oh, whoops, there should be one short print uh, per box. I think it's one in every ten packs. I guess, you know, with the optic, it doesn't really show the odds, which that's the only thing I don't like about optic is it doesn't show the odds. But here's the odds for opening day. Um, they're very high opening odds. Um, so the chances of pulling a, a, you know, a sign card and then a good one at that is slim. But at the same time, you're only paying, you know, all together after taxes, like $13 for a mega box. So it's not too bad. We'll save the red cards for last. We'll get to this. Again, looking for my reds. I already got the the Aquino rookie, but I, mean, I wouldn't mind having doubles of it. Or the red parallel version of it. That'd be that'd be what I'd be looking for. I would definitely keep that. There's Bregman, Boyd, and Toronto Blue Jays. So hopefully the season will get a start 
not too long from now. I mean, with all this stuff going around, it kind of stinks for us fans of baseball and basketball right now. So, football, I think, is going to be all right for the most part. The rookie. I'm not, I haven't really heard anything about football right now. Uh, I know they're doing. I, they might be uh, pushing back the uh, draft day, or they might be changing it to where the draft day doesn't have anybody there for the most part. <laughs> so, see how that goes. There's Pete Alonso Gold Cup. It's not too bad. Uh, there's Rookie of Baez. Um, Olson. Another gold cup, Will Smith, Manny Machado, and the Red Stadium. I got it last time, but I'll keep it back here just to, just to have it. Let's see, there's another gold cup. Hira, Albert Pujols. Lindor. There's a Vladdy Gold Cup. I don't mind that one. And uh, Kansas City Royals. No big rookies yet. We're looking for uh, Brendan McKay, uh, Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette. Um, there's so, so many decent ones for Series 1. Normally there's not that many decent ones. Um, well, that they think so far. So we'll see how that goes when the season starts. Whenever it starts. Muscle Cruz. Binger. Colorado. And I think you get one uh, refractor card in a box as well. So there's the Brendan McKay. So there's one of the rookies we're looking for. Um, put that there. Matt Chapman, in Los Angeles Dodger Stadium. It's a pretty nice view. So we got a Frank Thomas spring has sprung, it looks like. Bryce Harper. Victor Robles, Gold Cup. I'll put that there. That's a that's a good pitcher. Ever do that pitcher? That's a perfect timing. And then Frank Thomas. I guess I should center it up a little bit better. I'm not really paying attention to that. Right now the basketball is winning, but like I said, there's a lot of baseball cards, so we will see how that goes. Cole Smith. St. Louis Stadium. I like to go to that stadium. Um, maybe when the, my Reds play St. Louis, we'll get to go to that stadium and watch them play. Oh, so so the me and my brother, we pulled out two Spring of Sprungs that were exact sames in the box, and we were wondering if it was like that for all of them. It's Toro. There's Taz Jr. Uh, so we were wondering if all the Spring of Sprungs were all the same, and it looks like they are not. So they finally put a different one in the box than the same, because we got back to back with the same one. So it's kind of like, okay, do they just put doubles in each each box, or what do they do here? But no, looks like it's maybe it was just a happy accident twice for us last time. If you didn't get to see that video, you should go back and watch watch that video next. There's a Mike Trout, your old Matt Carpenter. Oh, and uh, what's today? The 17th? Today is the 17th. It is launched the new MLB uh, 2020 um, for baseball for uh, PS4. So those of you like me, um, go out there and get you your uh, 2020 baseball game. Lester. I've definitely been wanting to play it just to see. Uh, you guys will have to let me know in the comments if there's any uh, 
differences this year between the 2019-2020 MLB, the shows. Um, I haven't really looked it up. I thought about going to GameStop today and, and picking up a copy. Trading in some games I don't play very often. Texas Ranger Stadium. All right, we're getting down to the last five packs. Yes, yeah, so this is getting down to the nitty gritty. We need to start pulling some some better rookies for sure. So do a little. Need some better rookies. Willie May statue. That's pretty cool. I was actually there for the Pete Rose unveiling of uh, his statue at. Uh, the Red Stadium, and that was pretty awesome. There was a, a ton and ton and ton and ton amount of people there. It was insane, the amount of people that were at the stadium. Here's a Kino Jr. without the gold cup. Not sure if that, is that a variation then, maybe? Anybody know? Maybe it is a variation. I don't know if he has a variation or not. No, 579, so it's not a variation, but it's not his gold cup one. Dustin May, another one we're looking for, and Max Scherzer, the the one blue one that we get, the blue parallel that we get in this. Um, they are not numbered, but still pretty cool. Even though this March 26th date is going to be different now, so that might make them worth more money, I guess, later on, maybe. And Juan Soto, that's uh, a sticker card for those that haven't opened this yet. Is a uh, Sticker, let's center up again. Sticker for the sticker collection. If those who uh, click that. Oh, okay, so so I did look at there. It is. It doubled up again. So so it does double up. I just happened to get three of them in one box instead of just two. So it does double up. There's uh, Sony Gray, Sony Gray. Uh, you know, Reds player. Don't always say their names right. And George Brett, pretty good ball player back in the day. For those that are just keeping up with the new stuff, and he's a pretty good ball player. Let's see what else we got? We're getting down to the last ones. Dozer, there we go. Gavin Lux. That's that's one. I didn't get him in the last one. I'm glad I got him in this one. I wanted to have both of his. His top series uh, one and the opening day, so got both of them now. And there's, let's see, this is this is aggravating. This counts as a card, but it is there's there's nothing special about it. It just tells you to look in the twenty series one and two. An old dinger, Colorado Rockies. So here it is. Am I gonna get? I want that. Another one of them, or oh, oh, Aquino would be the my the one I'm really looking for. If I can get him in this, that would be awesome. That would make my day for sure. So we got a rookie at least, Kyle Lewis. Nobody special, but not that I know of. He might be really good. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that, Brendan McKay. Red parallel. That's one that you are definitely looking for. That makes the box well worth it. Tim Anderson. There's a Matt Carpenter. That's also another really good one to have. Um, Polanco. Red parallel. And Garrett Cooper. Don't really know him, so. But red parallel. And none of these are numbered, the parallels. So we'll go through my hits back between baseball and basketball and you can decide what was the better hit so that's a very good card right here so that makes it tough brendan mckay the gavin lux rookie george brett spring has sprung uh sticker card of juan soto max scherzer blue <clears throat> dustin may rookie the last one i pulled had a nick in the corner so hopefully this one's a little bit better uh george brett spring has sprung uh frank thomas Spring of Sprung and uh, Brandon McKay as a base card. So there we go. Pretty nice. I mean, you can't beat that. 
And I think, you know, uh, like back here, you know, these cards are going for a decent amount right now. Um, so, uh, it's definitely worth looking into. So there's the basketball. So here we got, of course, the man, uh, Luka Doncic, James Harden, and D'Angelo Russell. I thought there was another one. Maybe it's, huh. Yeah. So that's, and they both cost about the same. So whatever you think uh, did the best, you let me know. I'm probably going to have a little voting icon up there so you can vote on the top right. There'll be like a little exclamation point. And you can click whether it was the opening day one or whether the optic won out. And, you know, the optic resells for like 25 to 30 bucks right now for a solo pack. So I don't know. Like if you had to buy it not in stores, then it might not be worth it. Um, you know, I found the last two solo packs that was at that store that I was at. So, you know, it made it worth it to me, but compared to the opening day, it's going it, to, that's going to be your decision, which one you thought did better, but I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this up as soon as I get off this camera. I probably should have went ahead and sleeved it up anyway, but it's not like a huge hit for me. So, but yeah, so vote and, uh, let me know which one you thought was the better pools and we'll, we'll see you next time. I think we're going to do some, uh, again, we're going to try to get some Ike versus Ike going on, uh, as always, but we'll see you next time.